on Brick Baby. He left the room in his audio, then he came back and they, they pieced it out. So salute to them. But at the end of the day, these words were still exchanged. You know what I'm saying? These words were still exchanged and um <laughs> Yeah, man. Like I have heard these words towards Brick Baby before on multiple interviews I ain't done with different individuals from the neighborhood car, you know what I'm saying? Um, at the end of the day, I don't know, you know what I'm saying, if they don't know Brick Baby, but... Brick Baby ahead, says what? some more... Bro, that nigga says some super disrespectful shit. Y'all probably wasn't understanding his lingo. Yeah, I was uh, yeah. That I nigga said... That nigga's dude from 5-7 neighborhood Crip, right? Slim. Uh, Crip Mac from Five Five neighborhood Crip. Yeah, that nigga Brick Baby said I come through. He said nigga don't nobody kicking in the fifties, be in the fifties. Said I come through the fifties and shut that shit down in a day. That <laughs> that shit right there, overboard. It way overboard. That shit gonna start some shit. Oh yeah, that nigga said. I come through the 50s. He said, don't nobody kick it in the 50s. I come through the 50s and shut that shit down in a day. See, but Brick doing too much because you ain't that type of nigga, bro. You, you ain't even got that type of... That That's going to lead to something. His ass a fucking goofy. His ass a drug out of He be saying shit and don't even be meaning the shit. Yeah. That nigga, that nigga was hey, saying hey, some hey, shit hey, about hey, you hey, when he says change. I know he's hey, type of nigga, bro. Every time he see me, clear, yeah, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga say, bro. That nigga show me the utmost respect every time he see me, and then on the fucking internet play games. I don't get this shit. I don't know if this is for content or what. I don't got no respect for that. Hey, hey, let's get this clear though. He said that damn homie, like this is exclusive, bro. I, I don't know if you spoke on it before, but he said that you was texting damn homie during that whole situation between. Uh, on that podcast when they had him live and shit, and you was texting them to say like the June tenth shit, Brick Baby ain't gonna go June tenth. Bro, I don't even know what to? June tenth is, gang. I'm from uh, Chicago, 16, gang. 16. We don't got shit to do with that. She was texting me though, but she texted me and told me Flacco was talking shit. I don't give a fuck about D W D W Brick Baby them. I don't have no issues with these niggas. You know, I don't know these niggas for me to get in their beef or whatever they got going on. And I'm not ducking my shit, because it's still fuck brick. He could suck a dick. So me saying I didn't do this don't got nothing to do with me ducking my shit or nothing. I just didn't have nothing to do with that. And he's supposed to be cool with me, so why wouldn't you hit my line? You know? And nah, dude. Nigga, I, do what? Man, I can contact. have my little homeboy coming in right now. He text my little homeboy, DM my little homeboy talking about, me and Wack just running a play, bro. I ain't got no problem with your neighborhood. All this shit. I said, running a play? I ain't Y'all do know I've never seen this nigga. In my life, I told her, I said, yo, Brick, Paul Root, me and Big, you ran hard, nigga. Hard 17, 18 years. Hard, nigga. I'm talking about we at each other's functions. Chris Shaw High, nigga, had his shit at his crib. He at my crib. We moving. His squad, my squad. We run about 50, 60 deep. Going through shit. Fucking niggas up. Security guards. Nigga, we had a whole two weeks where we ran security guards out of Hollywood. When they whoop big you ass, we fucking over niggas. I've never seen you, bro. I seen, I know all a lot of. I've never seen you, bro. Hey, and, whack, this nigga supposed to be from my hood. Who? Brick baby. Yeah, I've never hey, seen him. I got OG Huckabuck sitting right here, right. I've me. never seen that dude. He said, "Who the fuck?" Hey, is put Brick him baby? on there. Put him on there, mama. Well, Brick baby supposed to be. Look, tell him. He's supposed to be shitty, little shitty, a uh, 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 shitty. But I've never seen him. I've seen the other ones. I seen like three of them. But I've never seen dude. And we was moving through shit. I've never seen a nigga. Like, bro, I ain't never seen you, bro. Wow. He's sitting here right with me. And, hey, have you ever heard of Brick Baby? No. Yo, Toxic Media, salute for the uh, 499 family, salute. I've never seen the nigga. Yep, I never met him. I've yeah, never seen him. That's, I wanted to get that clear, though, with 16, too, because I was literally telling them, bro, earlier, I promise you, I was telling them 16. I'm like, like, I don't but think... But you know what? I don't even like think that. Brick Baby was in the building. 16, the one had the thing with Flacco, right? Mm -hmm. Some sick shit yeah. on right. 
I don't yeah. even think Brick Baby was in the building back then, was he? Was he in the building? No, nah, no, nah, he AD wasn't. AD was there. He wasn't even in the building, so he come in like, I, like, no, no jumper pretty much gave Brick Baby his his identity. Yeah. He's I, have, I have no met Brick Baby before then though, because I did like a hood vlog with in the sixties and shit. And this yeah, one well, understand had, about Brick because he, he he got a whole he got a whole fucking podcast on no jumper saying. I because long story short, I came to no jumper and basically they didn't let me in how I want to come in. So I just told them I'm not doing the interview. Next thing you know, I they on the that. podcast talking about 16 bringing guns, this and that. Brick get on that bitch and say, Yeah, man, I think he brought it because he was scared of Flacco. Nigga, when I met you on your block, I had a gun on me. So why the fuck would you think it's for Flacco? And you ain't never seen me no other way. So I, I had to ask, like, all right, if I'm scared of Flacco and this why I'm bringing my shit up there for, what you bringing your shit up there for? Who you scared of? As a street yeah, nigga, you but that's weird though. Yeah, that ain't. Yeah, that ain't. That's just what that is. Shit. It's, you know, it's like that's just how motherfucker move, gang. But it's like he know that. That's that, is, that's, that's, that's that weird shit, bro. Like I don't understand this shit. That's why I just stay to myself when I come yeah, out he, there. Yeah, he know he said that you banned, right? He said you banned I'm from banned. LA. <laughs> yeah. Who, who, he banned, he banned for what? He said that 16 Shalom is banned from L.A. because of him. Man, can't no nigga. Let me explain something to you, bro. L.A. is 60 miles north, south, east, and fucking west. To every gang, it's an opposition to the gang, bro. So at the end of the day, unless it's just a nigga who then said, fuck everything across the board and fuck you niggas dead homies, nigga, that's cap. I don't know. You fuck with kiddo 16? Yeah, that's my boy. On Paru, he can pull up on us. I'm the first oh, stop kid on make when he come get to LA. He go from the airport to a hundred <laughs> studio. You know what I think it is though? I think he, cause cause one day you made a comment under no jumper about him, and I, I basically like I basically like comment like a hundred emoji. So he thinking like me and you overlocked in, and we ain't never met. So he like, are oh, you picking wax side? Anything against anything with wax? I'm against. And it's like I ain't finna yeah, they do that. To they niggas. do that, bro. They do yeah, that. Yeah, but like, this is the same nigga. Agree with the facts. They like like is the sky blue? If Wack tell me, hey Chuck, is the sky blue? And I'd be like, yeah, it's blue. They be like, yo, you D rag? Like what the fuck? Yeah, I mean that's just what they know. Nigga gonna ban me for shit though. And I ain't the toughest nigga in the world, bro. But you not gonna ban me. You have to kill me in your city or die. Up. Especially not no nigga like Brick. Especially not no nigga like nah, Brick. Nah, dude ain't. Hey, bro, hey, 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 Ghost, how was Brick moving around in Atlanta, bro? I mean, the nigga was just up under Pee Wee Longway. That's that's all that was. All that, like, how he be talking and shit. That nigga wasn't like that, bro. That nigga was just under Longway. You know, and Longway he was just, in Atlanta. Longway they just aired his ass money, out, bro. out here. That's he all Longway was in Atlanta because he got shot up out it. What you doing, nigga? You, okay, you'll go to Atlanta Hill up. Double back, nigga. He was out there because they aired his ass that, out out here. He said that. I don't know if I got to that part, but he said that in the audio because ODM Slim was basically like, nigga, yo ass left, nigga. You left. And he was like, yo, I was there until I was 20. I didn't leave and all that. But look, though, when he was in Atlanta, nigga, niggas were taking off on him in Atlanta. You know, he was having some little weed and shit like that, bro. Man, that nigga. The same yeah, nigga. The same, the same, the same, look, 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 though. The same nigga that killed Slim Duncan. Nigga named Vito, he took he took some shit from Brick before too. I just wow. seen no time about that Gucci Studio. W, he talking about some. I, I that fight Gucci one of his studio? friends. He too big. Facts. Nigga, y'all wasn't saying that when it was time for me to fight Flocko. On phone them, y'all. Oh God, they but, now, but now it's like he too big. Get your bitch ass on. Hey, hey, sixteen. That's a good ass fucking point, you ain't bro. Hear me say Cause they wasn't big. saying that. Yeah. <laughs> That shit crazy. And, and, I, and I, I heard, was surprised I heard that he said that. Out that no jump and he did all that shit. I heard the security guard treated his ass and he apologized. Talking about I was just playing. Still bitch ass. No, the nigga, the nigga P nice. The nigga P nice. Whack homie, um, grab him ass. him up. So I had neck checked him all that. Why? They gonna talk about it any day. It's hey, coming. He, he, he told me, like, he, Brick Baby, like, when we said that on the, on the uh, podcast, bro, and it went out there, Brick Baby addressed it. He was like, yeah, that's the homie, though. He did it because I was crashing out. So he not. Nah, he nigga. Happen. Nigga, you met P. Nice after thing, goddamn D. Dog. You just met P. Nice. Because it's going to happen again. A nigga just choked you up. You can't say nothing crazy. You better say that's your homie.
Bitch, yeah, that's what he said. He said that that's like, and you know, me personally, bro, I don't got no problem with Brick Baby, but at the end of the day, like, hey, Brick, I did have a problem with you when you were speaking on that little Dirk shit. That shit was weird to me, because that's how I first came across Brick Baby. He was speaking on little Dirk, and I'm like, damn, them niggas letting him say this shit? What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, that shit look police as hell. Police, police in the right, right after, right after, Even though I don't think nothing, nobody had nothing to do with that, but why would you even make it look like that? Right after the dude get Bro, get that killed. was before you no jumper. I'm what? Is he trolling us? He's slow. That's what I said, bro. I swear to God. I said, hey, Ghost, didn't I tell you the same thing? I was like, yo, is this nigga Brick Baby trolling us? Or he he ain't really in tune and them niggas, because why would them niggas not stop him? Brick just one of them niggas, bro. He just be jumping from dick to dick, bro. Whoever he think he gonna get some clout with, bro, that's where he at, bro. That's all that is. How, 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 how you try to act like you so overlocked in with OTL, but the first the first opportunity you get to hop on the live with Quando Rondo, you do the shit. This nigga that said all types.